City News. Hello, good morning. You're watching City News at 10 with me, Pearl Akanya Ofori. In the news this morning, the flag bearer of the opposition New Patriotic Party, Nana Ekufuadu, calls on President John Mahama to tell Ghanaians how he will address the economic challenges facing the country. The president will appear before parliament today to deliver the State of the Nation address. It will be his third since he became president. And now let's turn our attention to something quite interesting. Let's talk about African beads. If you live outside of Africa, royalty, adornment and fashion are likely to come to mind once you hear the word beads. But here in Africa, beads mean more than a fashion accessory to make one look beautiful. In fact, women who wear beads, waist beads I mean, not this one I'm wearing, but this one, are believed to grow up to become caviar women, as opposed to the other counterparts who grew up not wearing beads. And the best part, that these waist beads are believed to turn men on. I have come to Krobo Dumasi, a small town in the eastern region of Ghana. Krobo Dumasi is noted for bead making. And I'm just in front of City Beads Industry, one of the many beads industries here in Krobo Dumasi in the eastern region. Come in with me and let me show you what happens here. For more than two decades, the founder of City Beads Industry, Mr. Sidi, has produced authentic Ghanaian beads. During my visit, he took me through some of the processes involved in making these beautiful beads. <laughs> so now, Europeans and Americans, they are wearing waist beads because they know how important it is for we the men. And it, it helped the women also as well. Back here in Accra, educated women say that they too are believers in the beauty and the power of waist beads. Actually show you. <laughs> okay. So I've got on my waist. I keep them a little bit high up. I've got these colors here. But how would science explain this? There isn't any classic uh, medical significance to the use of beads. But if anything at all, it would be in children for growth monitoring so that some children will wear it around their elbows, ankles and knees to determine how quickly they go. So it's not been scientifically proven that waist beads do nurture a caviar woman, but maybe I could use some beads since I need the curves. And that interesting story on beads ends City News at 10 with me, Pearl Akanya Ofori.